how's everybody doing today? My name is Lazarius King Lizo 87, KL87. Um, let's see. Today I'm doing another different type of reaction video. Um, these are police stopping five unarmed black kids at gunpoint. So we're gonna check this out because like I said, I personally got experience with this type of shit and let's jump into it. tell where this can get tricky yet. you feel what i'm saying it wasn't just like they got a police call they got the person telling them there's a group of kids you know what i said and they dropped the revolver so that's that's kind of that's it's gonna be kind of difficult to judge huh it's gonna be difficult to judge because like they say they actually got a person in their face telling them the description and that it was the kids and dropped the gun. So, okay, let's see. Kids over yeah, there. Just walking around here, not even five minutes. Matching. Guys, get on the ground. Keep your hands out. Hey. Off top. Off top, hey, hey, and like I said, I don't want to do personal experience about this. I do see a kid in all red and a kid in all black and a group of kids. So, now you know what I'm saying? I feel where the police coming from because they got a gun and it's dealing with guns and kids and you you kind of skeptical, especially the way she going nowadays. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And at the same time, I can see how the kids being nervous and shit. Like, nigga, we just walking, chilling, and police just pull up on you, pull out a gun and stuff. Your heart racing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you're a trained police officers. I'm an untrained civilian child at that. So, come over here. Keep your hands where I can see them and get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Please get on the ground. Get on the ground. 1961, I got it. They're being compliant. Just keep your hands out. He did say they're being compliant. They are being compliant, and he did say that they are being compliant. All right. Oh, fuck off. All right. Okay. Sam, can you go back in your house for me? Ma'am, go back in your house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, now it's getting sketchy. Now it's getting sketchy. You have your gun pulled on five kids, five kids, and you got your gun pulled on them, knowing with everything that's been going on in this world, and you're telling this lady to go in the house. Right there at the end, I know y'all can see where it say 2017. So this was just five years ago. You know what I'm saying? Give or take four or five years ago, depending on the date. So, and you got your gun pointed, and I ain't trying to be funny by your hand. You look like a white cop, and those look like black kids. So you're a white cop with your gun pointed at five black kids and got them on the ground, and you telling that lady to go in the house. That shit looks sketchy as fuck, okay? That's starting to look sketchy. Go back in your house now. Bro, do you hear that little boy crying out? That shit's sad, bro. That shit, like, man, like, 
I, I was too hung up on him holding a gun on them and stuff to point that shit out, but man, that shit's sad as fuck, bro. Like, you seen they scared as fuck. They start telling everything. That's my cousin. That's my brother. We just going over here, man. What we do, like, my heart pounding. You feel me? We're giving you directions, okay? Just follow our directions and we'll be all right, okay? Now, now I'm 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 having a problem. You feel what I'm saying? Now I'm really having a problem because we have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. Bro, y'all said it's one gun. He said he dropped the revolver, so y'all know it's one gun. It might be multiple, but you see it's one gun. You see they're compliant. They got their hands down. You have multiple units. I just seen two more cars, and this is what you can just see. You just seen two more cars pull up. So now they can just go up there and, like, pat the kids down. You, you feel what I'm saying? You can move in closer and kind of, like, handle that more delicately. You feel what I'm saying? Defuse the situation instead of trying to stay on their necks. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, de-escalate the situation. You see that's them kids and they scared and shit. Do them kids look like they going to read? Come on, bro. You heard a crying and shit? Come on, man. What do you want to do this, Troy? Can I just approach? Okay. That little boy said he got a basketball game to go to tomorrow. He ain't trying to go to juvie, bro. Do you not know how hard that's fucking up them little kids' minds right now? Because at the end of the day, they still haven't been told their rights. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this is unlawful detainment. You detained them kids and you haven't told them their rights. I just want you to know I hate you. You say just wait for backup to get there. You haven't explained nothing to them. You just got your hands there and say, give us a moment. We'll be with this unlawful fucking detainment. This shit is pissing me off the more and more. First, I was like, okay, okay. I can see the size. Now I'm getting pissed off because... No, nah, bro. Y'all, y'all, that's that's unlawful to tame me. Calm down, calm down, calm down, okay? We'll be right. Calm down, calm down. You see them little kids? They don't even look like teenagers. They look like the oldest to be 13. You hear how he crying and shit? The oldest probably 13, 14 at max. And you got us at gunpoint? Nigga, you know what we've been seeing on the news and on the internet? For the last couple of years about how white cops is killing black kids, black people, you know what I'm saying? And you got us on the ground talking about some calm down with your gun still pointed. Like I said, the police took no effort, no initiative to defuse the situation. You feel what I'm saying? To make the kids feel more at fucking ease. You didn't. You still ain't told them what the fuck they did. Like, you raggedy bitch. Cause like I said earlier, he told them, bro, stop crying. They gonna think we did something. Why? Cause the kids don't know what the fuck they did. Cause you ain't told them. That's unlawful fucking detainment. Your hands up right there, all right? Back, Keep on coming back, back, man. Hands on hands on man. Look at that little boy. Right. He just happens to be possibly the longest. You see how they skipped over, right? You see how they skipped over? Because I guarantee you, bro, look at them little kids. Look what they fuck they got on. That little boy have on basketball shorts. How the fuck he gonna have a gun? A 38? The motherfuckers, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't know if y'all know this or not. Guns weight holds some weight. You feel what I'm saying? 
So in some basketball short, it's a little kid putting that shit in his pocket. If he's standing up, got his arms up like this, and he's standing back, you're going to see that big motherfucker. Look at that. Look how little that little kid was. Them kids not even, fuck me, you can't tell me that kid no 14 years old. Now I'm mad because that kid really looked about 12, like I said, 13. Somebody mama here, though. Somebody mama. And look how he's looking. And Bro, I got some good pausing. I got some good pausing. First off, look at that police officer, the one with his hand out, the one that's like, look how he's looking. He looked like I'm full of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing out my everything that come out of my mouth is gonna be bullshit. That mama looks stressed the fuck out. Look at the police officer in the background. That nigga look like fam. I want to beat the shit out your ass. I'm just saying, bro. Look at, I don't know why how I paused it like this, but look at how that police officer is looking at him like fam. You know you full of shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Let go. Mashing the clothing. Okay, I don't know. Let's take that back because it's always like fitting the description. Like I said. You have to understand our position as well. We have to. Yeah, but when a mother come and just say, "Help me, just help me," but the way you were acting, I couldn't. I can't help it. That's my baby. I understand. I'm a parent. Stop contradicting yourself, Al. You feel what I'm saying? Because that tone of voice that you have with her, you should have had that with her kids. You feel what I'm saying? You're not understanding. You don't give a fuck. Clearly, by the way you treated them and by the way you tell her, like, bro, what would a mother to expect? Her son just got the gut, bro. My mama went crazy. You feel what I'm saying? It got to the point where the shit started happening to me so much, I stopped telling my mama because I stopped being able to go places. She started trying to be stricter on me. And it's like, I got punished for fitting the description, no matter like, so I stopped telling my mama when shit had, like that happened, like real shit. We don't okay. deal with police. I don't never even have no charges. We don't do this. All the stuff that goes on in this world, I worry about my kids every day. That's why I don't let them go nowhere. So he's not in trouble at all. Or you know I'm scared. Don't, don't ever do this. Don't ever do this. That's why I don't ever let y'all go nowhere. I didn't do nothing. We don't understand the way I feel right now. It don't even matter. You don't understand the way I feel right now. Now, now that right there, that right there, I have a big problem with. You feel what I'm saying? Um, mothers, stop that shit. You feel what I'm saying? She, to me, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel where the sun coming from. You're being selfish. I know you're my mother and I know you lost, but I'm the one who went through that dramatic experience. You feel what I'm saying? You're not even having sympathy for me. You know what I'm saying? You're, I know what could have happened, but look what did happen. You feel what I'm saying? You're too busy worried about what could have happened that you're not looking at what did happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it could have escalated worse. I could have lost my life. I could have did all this. And that's what you're focused on. But look what did happen. Look what the experience and drama I went through. And you too busy worried about the shit I could have went through that you don't even have the, 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 the sim sympathy to see am I okay about it. You focus on yourself instead of focus on me. And I'm the one who went through it. That's, that's why I say that's some selfish shit. Because at the end of the life, it's his life. It's his trauma. He went through that experience of having a gun pulled on him for no fucking reason. It's not his mama is getting on him. And she just basically said, I don't care if you did something or didn't. You still fucked me over. You still caused me pain. This is why I want you to go nowhere. 
So now I'm finna, I, this is this is an excuse I'm finna use to keep you locked down and keep you from having a fun childhood. Because of shit like this, even though you didn't do nothing. And this is why kids shut down on their parents and stop telling them to stop doing shit. Like, because it's like, bro, I'm getting in trouble for doing nothing. You know how hurtful that is? So before you tell me about your problem, look at what look at what I just went through and look what else I'm still going through. Instead of my mama feeling sorry for me and hugging on me and telling me it's gonna be okay, she telling me how the shit I went through caused her pain even though I didn't do shit. Have a good time. Enjoy life. It's um, life is too short to, to, to get bogged down to be discouraged or um, you have to keep moving. You have to keep going. Put one foot in front of the other, smile and just keep on rolling. We're just doing our job because a lot of people out here have guns. We're not saying that your kids had guns or anything like that, but we're just doing our job, okay? You, you, officer Cole. You said we're not saying that your kids have guns, but yet you had them at gunpoint. For how long? And then I'm telling everybody the way y'all treated them, but you're saying we're not saying that your kids had guns, but yet y'all treated them as if they had guns. That's bullshit. Saying you're not saying they had guns, but y'all pulled y'all. I know, because we don't know that. We did but not know that. Exactly. Y'all didn't okay. see a gun, if, but y'all put guns on my kids. Would you understand that where we're coming mm -hmm. from, matching description, we're not just going to walk up to my hey, do you have a gun on you? You know, we're just taking every precautions. No one got hurt in this. Everyone's Everyone's been cooperating with us, okay? Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. Them kids got hurt mentally. Fucking mentally. Fucking kids got hurt, bruh. In more ways than one. Cause now they family gonna treat that shit like it's their fault. This is why we don't let y'all go nowhere. This is why we don't let y'all do shit. So at the end, they will get punished for fitting the description. Which we all do. It's not like we're like out here like oh, like y'all understand. But we're not out here like we're inside too. Okay, but the kids go to the park to play basketball. I That's know, it. and they and it, it, the wrong place, at the wrong time, obviously for these kids. Okay. Right place at the wrong time. I understand, but there was a big they fight over the right there. Place. I know they were there when the fight was going on. They said so. All right, y'all. Um. Yeah, that's the end of that bullshit. Um, uh, shit. First of all, I don't like police because they so fucking nuts with blunt and nah, bro. I really don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said at first, I can understand where they were coming from, but like I said, after a while, bro, you sit there and you seen that the kids was corroborating. They on the ground. They not. You know what I'm saying? They're crying. They scared as fuck. You got a gun on them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could have handled it like totally different. Um, like I said, you didn't read them their rights. You didn't explain to them what was going on. You held them for a long period of time, on lawful detainment. So all the way, like, I was that's fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even if even if the parents sue, you know what I'm saying? And like, even if the parents sue, you feel what I'm saying? They win a lawsuit. So what? What's gonna happen? Is anybody gonna get them kids? counseling for what they went through like even if they do get that money is that money gonna go towards counseling on what the kids went through because we we gotta start going through that we ignore that shit and and that shit not nothing to be ignored bro that shit dramatizing on so many parts on so many different levels like i say when you go through something like that with the police officers and you're told growing up you're taught that police are there to serve and protect you you don't give a fuck about the server, but they're there to protect you. And then they treat you like that. So your family come and you thinking, oh, yeah, they're going to console you and rub and hug you, make sure you're okay. And it's more of anger. You feel what I'm saying? But not anger towards you because they're mad at you. They're angry at the situation, but they're not understanding right now. That's not what you need. You need love and care right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, fuck them. Let them go handle that shit another time. But, like, make sure I'm all right, bro, emotionally and physically. So... That's it on that one. Um, I fuck around do some more on those right there, but I'm gonna take a break for right now because that they, they kind of hit home too hard. So y'all have a blessed one. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay blessed.